Hey, what's up, YouTube? Ronix with it another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I want to show you guys the best ways to whiten eyes in Photoshop. So, the very first method is going to be strictly in Photoshop or in this very interface, and you're going to be going nowhere. And the second method is going to be using the camera filter to do the eyes and teeth whitening. So, it is the same method you have to use for both the eyes and teeth. So, for this case, we only have the eyes, but I should say you should use the same method even to whiten teeth in just Photoshop. So let's kick in and start learning about the best way to do the eyes or to whiten eyes in Photoshop. So you have to simply come right down here to the adjustment option. I hope you can see this right here. Then come under the hue and saturation like this. So after you have selected that, we are going to be using this as our reference. I hope you can see this other eye. So you have to notice or look at the colors that are in that particular eye. So for this case, we have some kind of uh, reddish color in the white area of the eye. Remember, we are only targeting the white area of the eye. So we are going to come right under the master. And we are going to come to the reds. So when you come to the reds, you're going to uh, knock down the saturation. So you shouldn't mind if at all the images are getting desaturated. So don't mind about that. And remember, I want to whiten the eyes and as well brighten the eyes. So we are going to be hitting like uh, two birds with one stone in this very tutorial. So we are going to be whitening and also brightening the eyes. So whitening is... Uh, making the eyes white and brightening is adding light into the eyes so we're going to uh, desaturate the reds then you're going to increase the lightness of the reds like that then you're going to uh, camp the yellows remember the eyes still have some kind of yellow color you're going to also turn down the saturation of the yellows i hope you are seeing the transformation right there so you're not going to, we are not going to take it all the way down. We're just going to leave it at a reasonable percentage. Then you're going to come to the hues of the yellows and you're going to pull it up towards, uh, let's go towards this side. So you have to hue or remove that kind of yellow tone in the eyes. So we're going to leave it at negative 17. And you're going to knock down the saturation even more. Then you're going to come under the lightness and you're just going to pull it up like that. So you can see that we are losing out on the color in the white area of the eye. You're just going to close that. Then you're going to come right down. And you're going to now come to the photo filter like that. So under photo filter, we have this drop down. Look for cooling filter 82. And when you do so, your image is going to, of course, turn blue. So don't mind about that. Come under the density and just knock down the density uh, to the one of your liking. So for this case, we're just going to leave it like around there because we don't want to overdo this. So we're going to go with around 11. Yeah, we're going to go with 11. And after we have done, so remember... It has really worked on the overall image and we don't want it to affect the whole image. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to put all this in a group by selecting or holding down the control or command key and clicking on both layers. And after we have done, so you're just going to come and hit control or command G on the keyboard to group them. So you can name this group by double clicking right here and we can name it eye whitening or you can name it whatever you want or eyes and teeth so after doing so come and hit enter so we want the effect only affect the white area of the eye and in order to do that you're going to come right here and you're going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and click on this mask icon by holding down alternate and just click on this icon to add a layer mask so it is going to hide the effect and it is going to create a black mask so remember in photoshop usually black hides and white reveals so for this case we have 
a white mask right here so in order to reveal the effect we are going to paint using white in order to reveal the effect we, we had initially before so the other thing is when your tool is looking like this cross icon i hope you can see this cross like icon make sure you turn off the caps key to get back the tool so you're going to come right here and you're going to select the normal brush tool and after selecting it come right down here we have these colors so make sure you have black and white right here and if at all you don't have black and white simply come and click on these two color swatches like this and in order to get white on top because we want to paint using a white brush on a black mask i hope you guys are really paying close close attention and after doing so make sure white is on top and now you can now zoom in uh, to really be precise so you can zoom in, control plus to zoom in like that and hold down the space bar to click and move. So after doing so, reduce on the size of your brush or you can increase it by using the brackets on the keyboard. And now start painting over the white area. Remember we don't want to paint any other area. We only want to uh, do the whitening only on the white area of the eye. I hope you're seeing the effect right now. Then you can simply come and also paint this side like that. So this method is really beautiful and amazing because you can instantly uh, look at what you're doing and you can adjust it later on. So you can just intensify or increase on that beautiful catch light or those beautiful catch lights in the eyes. So remember you have not yet removed this kind of uh, blotchiness or those dark things in the white area of the eye but I'm going to be showing you guys how we can uh, really handle that so come right this side and also whiten this part of the eye make sure when you're doing this don't paint on the iris and if at all you paint uh, maybe accidentally paint in the iris I'm going to be show showing you guys how you can uh, remove the effect from uh, the area you may have painted and you want to eliminate that effect from that particular area so just paint over the white area so you can reduce and really be precise with this so if at all you have painted right here like on the edges of the white uh, the iris make sure you come and toggle and get a black on top or you can just simply press X on the keyboard to get a different color so if at all I use X you can see you can switch these colors right here so get black on top and just uh, delete or eliminate the effect on that particular area you do not want to affect so it is as simple as that so after you have done so you can see the before and the after before after you can see the eyes have been really whitened and brightened so after you have done so we want now to clean up this eye so we are going to create a stamp visible layer in order to cl clean up this eye. So like I said, if at all you felt like the effect is too much for your liking, just come and reduce on the opacity of all you have done for the eye whitening. So I'm just going to leave it at 100% for purposes of this very tutorial. So after, now we want to clean up the eyes of the model. So just come and uh, create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate control e on the keyboard shift alternate control e on the keyboard or shift alternate command e for mac and now you can get maybe your spot healing brush tool I zoom into the eyes and hold down the space bar to move or hover over that place and now you can reduce on the size of the spot healing brush tool and now start dabbing over those dark parts you want to uh, get rid of uh, in the eye so just make sure you do that and uh, clean up the eye but you shouldn't remove everything totally because uh, it is going to look unnatural uh, after you have or it is going to get, give you like unnatural results so just make sure you just clean just a few things from that area so you can see i've just cleaned that area and can come and just uh, eliminate so you can use different tools we have the clone stamp tool and how that works you know better just 
get it, zoom into the area you want and now sample by holding down the alternate key on a clean area like this. Sample and click on a clean area to copy from that area and just paint over the area you want to uh, basically clean up. So basically that is how uh, the clone stamp tool works when you are trying to clean up the eye. So you can see uh, this is the image before, after, before, after. So basically that is how we whiten eyes in Photoshop using that is the very first method of doing the eye whitening in just Photoshop without going anywhere else. So for those that don't have camera roll, this is the method you have to use for whitening eyes in Photoshop. So let's look at the second method of whitening eyes in Photoshop. So we're going to, uh, what I want to do, let me just uh, group this by hitting, okay, let me just delete all this so that we can start afresh. So for the camera roll filter or for the camera roll method of whitening eyes, you have to basically make sure, yeah, you have to make sure you duplicate the background layer to have a backup of uh, maybe when you have to reduce on the effect after whitening the eyes. So you're going to create a copy of the background layer by hitting Ctrl J or Command J or just dragging and dropping right here. So we can simply name the, that layer eye whitening like this. So after doing so, make sure this layer is selected. Come to filter and come to camera raw filter. Yeah, it is camera raw. And after doing so, we have a tool in camera raw that we are going to be using to whiten the eyes in this very plugin or the camera raw filter. So we are going to remember we have colors in the white area of the eye like we did in Photoshop. We're just going to target those particular areas that have color in this very eye. So come and get your adjustment brush tool or the shortcut for the ad adjustment brush tool is you can simply hit K on the keyboard to get it after you have opened your camera roll filter. Then since we have some kind of warm colors in the white area of the eye, since we have those colors, we want to uh, move the temperature slider towards the opposite of uh, the colors in the white area of the eye to eliminate them. So we're just going to move the temperature slider towards the blue. So for this case, it is not going to be affecting the image because we're just setting up the brush. So we're just going to move it to around negative 26, but still we want to retain some kind of red tones or some kind of little magenta tones in the eye area. So we're going to move the tint towards, remember the eye usually also has some kind of green tones. So we are going to move the tint towards around 50. And remember since it is all about eye whitening and eye brightening, we, we are just going to come and increase on the highlights to around 4 and the whites to, to around 5. But since we do have color in the white area of the eye, what we want to do basically is to remove the color from that particular white area of the eye. And in order to remove color, we are going to desaturate those colors. So we are just going to come the saturation and knock it uh, down like that to around negative 70. And after we have done so, we are going to be done setting up the mixer brush tool in order to uh, set it. So simply, when you you want to maybe uh, save your settings for the mixer brush tool so that you don't have to go over all this again. You can simply come right here and you can uh, save it as a preset or new local correction preset like I have saved mine right here. So after you have set it, just come and zoom into the eyes by hitting Ctrl plus or Command plus on the keyboard and using the holding down the space bar and you get this hand tool and to enable you click and move or hover around so increase on the adjustment brush tool by using the brackets on the keyboard and now you can just start painting over the white area of the eye like that 
so just do that and for this case you really have to be careful yeah you have to be careful like this but in case you do an error you can simply uh, get your eraser tool to eliminate the effect on the area you want you did not want to paint basically so just come and paint uh, over those areas to uh, whiten so you can also whiten this beautiful catch light uh, to make these eyes really pop like that so hold down the space bar and now you can simply move towards the other eye remember we want to whiten both eyes and now you can as well whiten this other area of the eye. I hope you can see what we are doing right now. So you shouldn't mind if at all the effect is not too much. Because you can easily adjust that after painting over this white area. So just don't mind about that. You just want to see the effect getting uh, implemented onto the image. I hope uh, this is fine. So zoom out and you will see that the eyes are really white now. So if at all you would love to intensify on the amount of white or the whites in the eye, you can simply continue knocking down the temperature. So if at all you take it all the way overboard sorry, or all the way down, your eyes are going to turn kind of bluish and wouldn't want that. Just make sure you uh, have a reasonable temperature like that. So I'm just going to leave it there so that you can see the effect. So that is the before, after. Before, after you can see we have just whitened the eyes. But I feel like that is too blue. So you can just uh, reduce on that. So after you feel like you have whitened the eyes and you're really satisfied with the results, you can come and simply hit OK. So, and you can say before and after, before, after. Or if at all you feel that it is really still too much, you can now come and reduce on the opacity of the eye whitening. So basically, these are the two ways to do the eye whitening in, uh, first of all, Photoshop without going or using another filter. And the second method has been using the adjustment brush tool in the camera roll filter or the camera roll plugin. And when you feel like uh, you're really maybe satisfied, sorry about this. Uh, when you feel like you're satisfied uh, with the results, you can simply come and maybe clean up. So like we did for the other previous case, you can just come and do a little bit of cleaning up uh, in the eyes like that. So by removing these tiny little veins in the eyes, and after you have done so and you feel like uh, you're really comfortable with it all, yeah, you can continue saving your image. Yeah, you can continue saving your image and it will be saved in uh, the best and uh, the best uh, way possible. So you can just clean up, but you shouldn't overdo it. Make sure you leave the eyes are looking as natural as possible and when you feel like uh, you're really done and you love what you have done now you can do the rest yeah and save your image and really have fun and this is going to basically transform your images uh, by a great 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 mileage and don't forget to whiten your beauty images or your beauty portraits because it is going to transform your images and if at all you learned something from this story and you loved it, don't forget to subscribe this channel. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell when you do subscribe this channel because you'll end up missing on beautiful content or amazing content and educative content when I post and you don't have the notifications bell turned on. So make sure you turn it on after subscribing. And if at all you subscribe and it is not on, make sure you turn it on for all my updates or my uploads on this channel i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in it another trail on this channel. don't forget to keep creating